Processing, assembling and packing. London manufacturer OneCall Furniture is experiencing an exceptionally busy period. It's been that way since the UK's first lockdown lifted. From August onwards, sales rocketed. Uh, in the period August, October, our sales are up approximately 20% over year on year. That's a very substantial increase. And November is following the same pattern. And that's all down to one thing, the coronavirus pandemic. With people spending more time at home, the domestic furniture market is booming. The demand for desks has shot up, but also sofas, beds, artwork, pretty much anything that's made for the home is selling well. And that's good news for an industry that makes up 9% of manufacturing output and employs 130,000 people. About half of all furniture sold in the UK is made in the UK, and 2020 has been quite the roller coaster year for the country's furniture manufacturers. We've gone from a point where factories were starved of orders, they furloughed all the staff, but of course we've had a combination of this pent-up demand from lockdown, followed by this general higher level of interest in the home. So factories are pretty much full at the moment, and there are Many factories, certainly in the furniture side, are now quoting on 12-week lead times, which is much longer than you would normally expect. While the domestic market is seeing strong returns, manufacturers supplying to the commercial side, like hotels and restaurants, have struggled. There's also the issue of supply. With so much demand, raw materials aren't available in sufficient volumes. At One Call Furniture, they are now hammering out plans for expansion. But there's also a note of caution. My own personal viewpoint, is as soon as people can start to freely travel again, plan holidays, book holidays, their spending pattern will revert to much more normal areas. That's the feeling of the majority of the industry. They know while they may be boxing up and shipping out now, the furniture boom will probably be a temporary one. Natalie Powell, TRT World, London.